black and white It's a problem with the whole way of life It can't change overnight But we gotta start somewhere Might as well go ahead and start here We done had a hell of a year I'ma make it count why I'm here God is the only man I fear They training officers to killers Then shooting protesters with these rubber bullets They regular people I know Mark, keep your eyes on your own paper. Okay, no talking during the test. Make this quick. I have other people to get to. Uh, I don't understand this question. Can you read it out? No, I can't just help you with reading. You should know how to do this by now, okay? You can't be asking for all the answers. <sighs> yes, Holden? Uh, I'm confused on this. When was the Missouri Compromise? All right, so the Missouri Compromise was in 1820, also known as the Compromise of 1820, so yeah. The next day. Okay, class. Today we will be learning about the Industrial Revolution and how the cotton gin affected the economy. The cotton gin was created by Eli Whitney in 1794, revolutionizing the South and plantations. It was very similar to use and product and production of cotton increased significantly. Mark, would you like to come up here and describe how to use it for the class? But I don't know how to use it. Well, of course you know how to do it. You must know something about it. Well, I don't. Did you talk back to me? Step out of the hallway. I need to have a word with you. Okay, class. Sorry for the interruption. I'm sure that won't happen again. <laughs> right, Mark? <laughs> My bad. Do you need help? Ooh, you gonna fight me? Hey, hey, what are we doing here? Why, why are we starting a fight? This is unacceptable in our school. I've already told you once this week just to behave, and you haven't. I want to see your butt in the AP office now. Now! Holden, are you okay? Did he hurt you? I won't ever let this happen again. Hey, Jeremy, uh, you got something that you want to talk to me about today? Yeah, um, I wanted to show you this. Okay, class, class is over. Make sure to finish your homework on the Industrial Revolution. I'll, I hope you all have a great weekend. Come on, Jeremy. Hey, hey, yeah. just for your little debacle yesterday, I'm going to need you to write an extra two paragraphs on how the Industrial Revolution benefited the South. Bye, Holden. Have a good day. Oh, bye. Got him now. Oh, man. Looks like you're gonna be late. Like you're gonna be like the pain train, pal. Bet, keep that same energy. Look, it's a teacher. Beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! I was seeing double in a project, mad at myself. Why? Dude, what, what you do to Mark? 
This kind doesn't belong here. Why do they not belong? This is America, the free country. Yet, tons of people make other people not feel welcome. I mean, every single day, millions of people get discriminated against for their skin color and ethnicity. Thousands of people each year commit suicide due to racism, and it's been growing. Racism also divides our country. I mean, look at the protests and riots that happened in 2020 that are still happening today. Political leaders and news are spreading lies and rumors that hurt people. Our country was once united, and now it's divided again. And Holden, you are one of those problems. We can't be attacking, fighting, and judging each other based on skin color. It's about those actions that people take. And I know Mark is a very nice person, yet all you see is the color of his skin. It's like this piece of paper. You're racist to Mark one day, and another, then day after day after day after day. Then Mark tries to hide the comments, ignore the pain. I mean, the paper's uncrumpled, but there's still wrinkles. Here, hold it. Try to make it straight. Thank you for being here. Oh, yes, but what's the problem? Holden has been saying some racist things to a student recently, as well as fighting for the past few days. Really? Yes. We even have video footage taken by another student, as well as security cam footage from a fight earlier this morning. We do not accept this kind of behavior here at the school. We're going to have to suspend Holden for all of next week. What? You can't do that! There's no excuse, Holden. You're grounded. Thank you, Principal. We promise we won't let this happen again. Come in. So, what is it you need me for? A student took this video and I like to show it to you and explain to me what happened. So, can you explain this? I mean, he was being really annoying. This isn't the first time we've gotten reports from other students and teachers, and now we have proof of this. Pack your things and leave. You're fired. Some love instead of hating so much when you see some other people coming up.